Today we're gonna to be making our own hidden room, but with a twist. Today we're doing low budgets only. That's gonna be a challenge. Please, the highest low budget. Wow! That's actually pretty good. Two hundred fifty dollars. Okay, that's that'll pretty work. Good. Ernie, give me a good budget. Seventy-five <laughs> wow. oh, oh, dollars. Oh, that's not really bad. This is a new year, and one of my goals is to make good builds. <laughs> we'll cut back to you saying that if you make something insanely not good. We're making a movie once we hit a bit. Dang it! <laughs> 8 million subscribers! <laughs> Just subscribe! Oh! 500! <laughs> right out of the $10. That was $10. I'm gonna see you build something with 10 bucks. No. Did you hear what I said though? Once we hit 8 million subscribers, we're dropping our very own movie. And we're actually standing behind the set here of the movie itself. We're gonna do a movie tour as well. Now it's time to build these hidden rooms. I was gonna give it to him, but. No. I have an insane idea for my hidden room that if I can pull it off, I'm definitely getting the dub for this challenge, but I got Samuel. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm making a hidden room. I have $500. I want to make an aquarium. You want to make an aquarium? Uh, either A, the aquarium's on top. This is a table. This is the aquarium. This is the hidden game room. Okay. Or making like basically a big box and the aquarium's right here. I think that idea is the cooler idea. Now, can you do it for $500? That's a fantastic question. All you need is wood and aquarium, right? Sure. Justin, your drawing skills have gotten really good. Yeah. This is this is 2D, it's 3D. <laughs> so I'm thinking of doing our gaming room in the kitchen. I could do the microwave. I've already done the microwave. <laughs> I could gut out this oven and maybe build something in there. We've already done an oven. That's right. I could do the fridge, maybe if I get like another fridge. I've already and... done the fridge. Uh, I had an idea. This pantry is very recognizable to anyone who's been to this house, but the special guest has never been here before. What I think I'm gonna do is create a false wall in the back. So it looks like our pantry only goes to about here, which gives me a ton of space back here. I think it's... <laughs> oh. Follow me into the basement. This place is full of possibilities, and one in particular. One of my favorite gaming rooms we've ever done was back here. It's quite a mess right now, but I think I can still make this its own space, redesign it, a new hidden entrance. I'm just gonna design the heck out of this thing with 250 bucks. Step one done. Ow! <laughs> my biggest problem that I'm trying to figure out is how I'm actually gonna get in, because once the wall is here, any kind of like door is gonna give it away. I'm gonna be building my aquarium right here, and I feel like my biggest obstacle is building it correctly. I haven't built many things in my life. I'm really trying to think through how to make it look good enough and do it right. Uh, oh. hey. All of this is our extra merch that we haven't sold and we're not selling it anymore. So these are like vintage rares. So it's kind of valuable if you think about it. Before we go to the store and start getting some supplies, it is important to measure so you know what supplies you need. Fortunately, I don't have a tape measure, but I do have this, which is arms. See, it goes over, so I don't need quite full wingspan width-wise. I'm 6'2", so however much that is. A fake wall right here. So it looks like we just have this like little small pantry. Is it doable? With $75. It's doable with $75 and a lot of skill. Oh, well, I don't have a lot of skill. <laughs> you got a couple of problems. First off, you got a really tall ceiling. One downside to my hidden fort. This was the old entrance. As you can tell, it already looks like it still is an entrance. It's not even attached. <laughs> Maybe I should spend some of my budget on repairing this and make it look as clean as possible. Quick stop at Walmart. I got to get my hidden entrance, which is a laundry basket. <laughs> Oh, what? Someone already used this for laundry. There we go. A nice, clean laundry basket. <sighs> My hidden room is actually gonna be a micro movie theater. I think it's gonna be sick. What the pep of the pig? <laughs> so what I gotta do is get a white sheet to be my movie theater screen, and I'm gonna get a little micro projector, and we'll be good to go. This is the worst cereal I've ever tasted in my life. Not even like it's just like, oh, this isn't a great cereal, but I'll still eat it. It's like throw up kind of. You should get it. I will get it, so you can try it. I'm gonna do like a little cereal bar deal behind. So you got the like snack shelf, got all the little snacks. But if you go through the vent, you're in the cereal bar. Sounds sick, huh? What do I look like? Your shopping cart? I can't hold anymore. I didn't even get to shop. Life is the best cereal. What's your favorite cereal? Not life. I just love life. <laughs> nah. Okay, I'm gonna get some milk. I have an idea. Wait, get back. You can't. 
But you said I you said you I didn't know you were buying this many snacks. How are you even affording the album? Because I'm getting magic treasures instead of lucky charms. This is like 10 bucks a box. <laughs> no, it's not. It's on sale. <laughs> and you got this? This is also like 10 bucks That's a box. That's for Justin. Go get milk. Well, how am I gonna get the milk? Go now? get milk. Oh. <laughs> It's at 150. Mm. Not my best angle, Rick. We're here at Home Depot. What's the number one thing you're most excited for shopping? It's a weird question. We're shopping somewhere where I could buy something cool. I'm just getting drywall. <laughs> <laughs> and the price of drywall is 20 bucks each. I'm hoping it sold us too, so it's 20 bucks each. Oh! What are you building? You gotta speak up, man. What are you building? <laughs> what are you building? A hidden room. But I need two sheets as well, based on my measurements. <laughs> I gotta pick out a paint color for my wall. I'm gonna paint the whole wall, even the parts that aren't part of the hidden room, just to blend everything together. Now, what color would you see in a basement? Probably something more gray or neutral, nothing extreme. Ooh, summer storm, it's kinda nice. Can't take credit for this idea, this was Samuel's. I'm gonna use a HVAC vent and put it into the wall, and that's gonna be my entrance. I ideally need one big enough that I can fit through. That one's too small. the store with all of my aquarium items. The most annoying thing about aquarium stuff is it is all very expensive. It's just a big glass box, all even these rocks are expensive. I'm using this table in this space. I'm gonna wall off each of the sides, cut a hole in the table right here. That way, I just pull the fish tank on top of the hole when I climb in and he'll have no idea. Before I can build anything, I gotta move all this stuff out of the hidden room. First step is to clear everything out. Well, not everything, because I'm gonna leave this half of the... It's also lunchtime. The whole team is probably gonna be in and out of here while I'm trying to work. But I'm gonna leave this first. Oh, that's a good choice. I'm gonna leave everything on this side so it looks like just our normal pantry. Oh, I thought this was one piece. <laughs> Moment of truth, did I measure correctly? Yes, I've done it. Probably gotta paint, because this definitely looks sus. I've got all the old shelves out of here, it's all cleaned out. I think I'm gonna redo the flooring, because I don't really like this vibe anymore. It is so hot down here. Our furnace is right there. We had way more stuff in this pantry than I originally thought. It's actually taken me kind of a while, and I've uh, increased the... Like... There's no way you actually wanted a can of cut asparagus. <laughs> Originally, I was gonna do it to like here so that I could just scoot all the stuff up because I was being a little lazy. I'm realizing I, I want more space, and so I'm gonna bring the wall out in front of this light to right about here. So that way I actually have room to like walk around. I'm trying to put the stuff in different cupboards. Hey, how's it going? So that it's not just laying around because if the who. You want one? Excuse me. Identical. Where's your pizza? I didn't get a slice. <laughs> Reese is helping me out. He's gonna show me so I can learn. Cut inside this, like, a little ways. All right, let's see if I fit. It works. <laughs> Your head's sticking out. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> like I said earlier, I gotta fix this stair problem. Is it going good or what? Slow. I'm about to move on to the next step, so follow me. I was worried it was not gonna be tall enough. It might be too tall. Samuel! Staples everywhere. Ow, so many staples. I think if I take out the light bulb, it'll make this way easier. Ugh. Man, this is gonna be actually really tough. Just get a tape measure, measure like how much is between this, or actually, yeah, just need to measure the distance and then how thick the shelves are. Have it in here. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? <laughs> Yeah. It will work. Ugh, you, just, you just need a tape measure. <laughs> I'm stressed. <laughs> I got my box designed and I got some fish decorations. 
I'm gonna be in an aquarium hiding under an aquarium. Perfect size. What I could do is even make a tiny, once I put all the sand in, make a little hole so I could see through the top of the aquarium. Quick update, I'm gonna just cut it out on this side for this low shelf, and then I'll push it all the way to this side, and then I'll just refill these shelves with snacks and all the stuff that we took off them, so you won't even be able to see that there's a gap in there. Thinking if I cut enough, I can just shove it in and it'll do the rest. You're breaking it, I think. No. I... Yes, you put off the look. Yeah, that's good. It's going in. Is this piece even too big? Okay, even you have to admit that this kind of worked out that, perfect. That actually went better than I, I take everything that I'm saying back. There's so much damage to all the drywall around the whole house. This is going to fit right in. That doesn't fit. I think the stairs are done. That's a lot better than it was before. It's all connected now. And no screws sticking out to stab your toes. I wish I'd put all of my stuff that I wanted in the room before I put that giant drywall there. Could you help me uh, put all the stuff back in, on the shelves? So you're, so. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. I don't care if I win or lose, I'm happy. <laughs> Just gotta finish decorating in here and then throw on the drywall, which sounds easy, but that's why I'm giving it a, such a large percent because you never know how bad you'll mess up. Looks like you could use a snack. Get the fish tank all filled up. Now time to bring it back. Isaac, can you help me carry this over? Touche. Time to cut a little entrance. I did measure it. Did you? A little. I don't see any lines or nothing. Uh, put a safety disclaimer right here. It's a pretty big entrance. Well, I'm a pretty big guy. Wait, if I install this, how am I? I'm still not gonna be able to get in. <laughs> it's perfect. This is the movie theater screen. This thing looks sick in here. Check this out. It can stand fully up in here as well. <laughs> the micro movie theater is almost done. On the inside at least. You see right here, I've got all my snacks right here. I got a microwave in the back for making popcorn. I can stretch all the way out. I got the movie theater screen right there. This thing is so cool. I think the only thing left is to put up the outside wall and build the little entrance. I don't know how this is gonna look, but I got some wood stain here. Gonna try and match it to the top. It's not gonna be exact, but it'll definitely be an improvement. Hey guys, hey guys. We're here. What? Whoa, that makes a huge difference. Looks like it was built by Walmart. Got the first sheet installed right here of drywall. I get the second piece up. It's probably, it's probably gonna be a little long, but that's part of the process. As soon as I get this cut, we're in business. Now, two things left. Paint, and then cut the hole for the entrance. And this thing is done. I am a little worried about, there's some minor light leaks, like at the bottom there, and then also a major one through the outlet. So maybe I can just put the couch like, aha! Easy solutions for easy work. I am, I'd say maybe 90% done. Pretty confident, look at this thing. As soon as he does press on this, the jig's up. If I put one on the top, it'll stop this movement. Go ahead. Right. It's not in the stud, but it's good. One big screw right in there. Just that one screw changed the whole build. Like this is actually secure now. So if he presses on it, it feels kind of like, why is this wall so hollow? They almost feel the same. Hyper. Richard! Putting a lot of attention to detail into mine. Hopefully that means I win. A little worried about Isaac's just cause we know his build quality is low. Justin's can be really good or sometimes can be a miss. I'm pretty much done with my hidden room. Just trying to put the final touches. I don't know if I need to put something on the sides of them to kind of make it feel natural. I might be overthinking it at this point, but there's no way he's gonna find me in here. It's too good. Our YouTube friend Matthew Beam is gonna be here in less than 30 minutes. We have to clean up the house, clean up any evidence of our build. Get in our hiding spots because he's gonna find us. Not me though. The reason why I lost our last hide and seek video is because my footprints gave it away. And as you can see, I've been going out in the snow and look, I've got footprints going into my hidden room here. I have got to clean this up. If he says one thing about, oh, look at this, there's wet footprints down here. I'm gonna be so mad. Last step before going in, I've got the entrance made. The only problem is you can still kind of see the light coming through. And the plan is to have laundry coming out of the laundry basket that's so high and just huge that it covers all the light. Hopefully the laundry covers all that. Beam is five minutes out. Time to get in my hiding room. Type thing. Yeah. Now that's what I call cozy. <laughs> Okay. 
Going in. I haven't tested if I can actually get in here. Oh, making progress. <laughs> All right, see you later. What's up? Hey! Okay, I was told to come here and I have a video. Hey, Beam, we have built three low budget hidden rooms somewhere on our property. Since you're basically a hidden room expert, we want to see how long it takes you to find all three of the hidden rooms. Good luck. Your time starts now. Three? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I watch your guys' videos and I know that there's stuff everywhere. I just start tearing stuff up. Yeah, you get it. This is so interesting. Normally, I build the rooms. I'm not the one looking. So everything that I'm looking at is super specific right now. Let's see. Refrigerator looks pretty normal. Chicken wings. Check the freezer. The crazy thing about this is it could literally be anywhere so i'm gonna have to check everything <laughs> um the worst part about this is this is my first time inside of this house so i don't even know like the landscape or where to go you walk right past the pantry and then come in i have a decision do i go down i hear something we're gonna go down there <laughs> not a hidden giving room all right that's what i heard are you hiding anyone down here even if i was i couldn't tell you so. okay that sounds like you are is there any rooms that i can't go in nope i hope they don't jump scare me or something as well i'm kind of scared They said I'm a hidden gaming room expert. I'm seeing these tiles off the floor, so I'm wondering if that has something to do with what's going on in here. But it might be something that's kind of obvious, like a laundry basket. <laughs> it could literally be anywhere. <laughs> they've like been inside of fridges, porter potties. I'm definitely not going in a porter potty. If they're in there, they're gonna win. Could be inside this computer. I have to say, I've been looking for quite a while and haven't found anyone, so they're doing good. <laughs> If I just destroy your office super quickly? It happens a lot, so I pick up this computer and throw it. <laughs> I'm listening to Secrets Hollow back there. I, you can rip it up, I don't care. <laughs> I didn't choose this for my office. I'm gonna leave that there for now. Okay. That's the worst part about this. I've never been inside of this house before, so I don't know what's new or what's suspicious. When I hide from my mom, she kind of knows what's different about it. So everything is different to me, so I have no idea. I'm trying to bust out the snacks. I'm trying Mr. Beast. Hmm. Kind of average, if we're being honest. There's definitely something going on in here. I've seen a video where they hid inside of one of these before. I think Beam's coming. I shut it off. This room is way too suspicious. Maybe that means it's they're not in here because it's too obvious, but I'm going to check in here for a second. If I find you, please don't jump scare me because I'm really scared right now. <laughs> these are pretty decent. Good job. Mm. I give a lot of battery life because I'm not very good at looking for rooms. <laughs> it looks like I'm better at building the rooms than finding them. Got this hammer, I should just start breaking stuff. What is the point of this flashing light? Hey, beep. So I don't know when they sent this, but there's a dartboard right there and I saw a dartboard earlier. So I don't know if they just sent this video, but if they did, they're somewhere in this house, which I already knew, which doesn't help me at all. <laughs> so if you were to give them a grade right now at this very moment. So, so far. far, it's a 10 out of 10. I might have to give you like $1,000 to wrap the first person out of something. <laughs> That's getting embarrassing. He keeps just walking right past the pantry. He doesn't even suspect anything. Another hole, there's holes everywhere. Knowing how I build my hidden rooms, they're kind of shady and like the walls could fall or the floor, so I'm kind of scared when I'm walking around. Wait, is there upstairs too? There is. Oh. Oh, it smells like popcorn. Ow. So there's an entire warehouse over there. I need to check that out. I know they have hidden bunkers underground, so we might be here for a minute. I hope that this room that they're in is very comfortable because it's taken me a while. My legs are going numb. Hopefully I can walk after this. Everywhere I look inside of this house, there's <laughs> holes. I looked around this house a ton at this point. I'm just waiting to find out that it's a prank and there is no hidden room because you would have pulled me. I can't see anything. This property is absolutely massive. There's trees everywhere. For all I know, they could be up inside of a tree house or something. Alright, if you're in here, I'm gonna find you. I'm actually terrible at this. This is insane. We got a little fish tank right here. I don't see any fish, so that's kind of suspicious. Maybe they're trying to throw me off with that. How does this open? It sounds hollow, but it'd be really hard to fit inside of this. So I'm just gonna have to find like a sledgehammer and start breaking stuff. <laughs> he literally just knocked on my hidden room. 
This looks like an active construction site. I don't think that they're in there. Subscribe buttons. If you're enjoying this video, you should subscribe right now. This is like an editing room. So when I was hiding from the police, the police went to my warehouse and one of the ways that they found where I was, they actively were looking at the computer that I was editing on. So I'm gonna look and see if the editors are <laughs> editing this video and I could see where they're at. So look. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> what? So he's standing in the snack room, which I called earlier. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Pretty good strap on your part. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and check the snack room. Dude, that's brilliant, man. Couch here. But again, there's nothing really to hide behind. Well, they definitely have snacks. I know that for sure. And sorry, Isaac. Shut up. The fact that he said sorry, I know I'm, I'm on to it. <laughs> My name's also Matthew. Do you want to help me then? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> if I was a YouTuber building a hidden gaming room, where would I hide? It's funny because I am that, so let's see. We're gonna find them now. <laughs> I'm just going back and forth. I'm getting a workout in. He just went out. Take L Beam. Whew, that was so nerve wracking. Sounds like I fooled him, boys. But, uh... Also can't feel my legs. <laughs> and when I was checking the editor's footage, I saw this room. There's not a lot going on. Doesn't even seem like there's any lighting in here. Oh. That seems like a fake wall right there. I don't know what I'm allowed to do and not do, but that does not seem right. So the way that I would get into a room like this is with a sledgehammer. Editors go ahead and play me destroying my mom's house. Oh yeah. I feel like we definitely got someone. I can already see the hole. I see someone juice. <laughs> you were the first one to be found. No. <laughs> what? How? The editors gave you up. You I have just, to say that was really impressive. I had no idea, honestly. Isaac just got found. I just need Justin to get found. That way I can be the winner. I want to win so bad. So now that I know that they're adding fake walls, I have a lot more ideas. I'm going to find them both. I have no idea how long it's going to take. Beam, I'm going to try to order something on DoorDash. And if I can get the DoorDash food down here covertly, without him knowing or finding it. I think I win no matter what. I'm wondering if there's like different levels of how much they spent. So I don't know if I found the person that spent the least or the most. Hopefully I found the person with the hardest room. <laughs> but obviously not since I haven't found any more. Beam, I actually had $75, which was the lowest budget. You did that with $75? Yeah. What is the highest budget they had? The highest is $500. If you could do that with $75, I think they could do something pretty impressive. I'm seeing this right now. They definitely are quite innovative, I'll say. The DoorDash has been delivered. I just have to sneak out of the hidden room, get the food, then get back in my house. The thing is, I don't know exactly where Beam is. This is gonna be very tricky. You editing any footage that can show me where somebody's at? No. Okay. <laughs> Another idea that I have, potentially turning out like all the lights, because sometimes when the lights are out, my LEDs will shine through the cracks and that freaks me out. So we always try to keep the lights on when my mom comes home. So I might turn off the lights here soon. Mission Impossible. Let's go. Where are you? <laughs> it's a secret. The fact that you're answering the phone while I'm looking for you shows me that you're extremely confident. It has to be a really good hiding spot. Right in pain. <laughs> so it must be a really small room. Uh, he looked like he was yeah. in a coffin or something. So while you were looking around, Andrew managed to grab his food. Like Uber food? Yep. Okay. Just missed him, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that gives me some hints as well because I'm guessing that no one has to help him get back into his room. I think it was a solo mission. Sometimes with a hidden room, someone has to put things back in front. So I think that Andrew can get inside of his room himself. Trying to find something really small, but something someone could fit inside of. He may be on to me. This light is so bright though. I gotta turn it off. Going dark mode. Ouch. This carpet's lifted here. I'm guessing that it's just some sort of door that they go in and they close. Does this do anything? Just, this leads under the stairs, I think. Oh. <laughs> wow, the laundry basket is attached to that. This is definitely a hidden room. <laughs> <laughs> I got one! <laughs> no! You <laughs> me. This is crazy. <laughs> so I was right. That's a really smart play. This basket was attached to it, so no one has to put it in front for him. He can do it himself. That's very impressive. Dang it. Oh, I thought for sure you'd find Justin first. I was really suspicious of the stairs, but I just couldn't figure out the entrance to get in. Yeah, I did a lot of repairs on the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> so I have successfully checked the downstairs, middle floor and top floor. There definitely could be someone in here still, but I'm gonna go check back out at the warehouse because the editors already gave some people up, so we'll see. So far, I'm pretty impressed by your deduction skills. <laughs> when I called him, it looked like he was in a very small space, so the first thing that comes to my mind is he literally just standing there inside of like a closet. The editing room is closed. I'm gonna sneak back in there. Hello again. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> 
Why are you doing that? <laughs> They're closing their tabs right now. <laughs> Okay. YouTube rats gave me up. No, he just the computer. <laughs> he just looked at what was happening on the screen. He was like, oh. I feel like it would make the most sense if Justin was inside of the warehouse and not the house because he was confident enough to answer the phone when I was in the house. So I'm guessing he's around here. I'll somewhere. deal with these guys only. <laughs> There's no way I lost to Justin. So obvious. What was his budget? 500. So he actually had the most. So I have to find the person with the biggest budget. <sighs> Something kind of expensive. <laughs> I still feel like he could potentially be in here because the fish tank doesn't have any fish in it. <laughs> I don't know how to open this thing. There's fish. Is there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So when I FaceTimed him, it looked like he was just standing very uncomfortably or laying down. <gasps> Colonel! <laughs> I killed them both. Aw, oh, man. Now long it took for me to find good edits. <laughs> Do you guys want to sell them out? Never. He would have bought something kind of crazy and wasted most of his budget on that. Why do you say that? <laughs> Sometimes when you have a lower budget, you have to be more creative, so I feel like those rooms might actually be better. I feel like you guys know exactly where he's at, and you're probably cringing because I keep walking by. Oh, well, I've been <laughs> cringing for a while. <laughs> Stop going in here. <laughs> I just pat you down real quick? Is that okay? Uh, <laughs> Once you have 8 million subscribers, we're going to make a movie. <laughs> That's a clue. Is it? Is it yes. actually? The best part is when I FaceTimed him, he was looking really uncomfortable and he's the one hiding the longest, so I feel like I'm putting him through pain right now. I feel bad. Can you hear me right now? Yeah. Oh, nice. Where are you? <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> I'm gonna listen if I can hear them right now. <laughs> this is what's the most suspicious thing to me, but how long am I supposed to do with it? <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Do you need help to get up? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Subscribe to get him out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Matt the Bean if you haven't already. And we'll see you on the next video.